so our today's topic is finding single source or test path and uh, the algorithms is developed by discastra so its name is discastra algorithm and as its name suggest we will have a single source node and we will try to find out the shortest path to all other nodes of that graph so a definition for that suppose we have a graph and graph may be directed or undirected and uh, we have a weight function so for each age there will be some weight and that weight will be a real number and suppose uh, we have a source node that is s we will say it as a source node and the problem is find for all other vertices v the minimum possible weight for the path from this source node s to all other node v so we have this source node s and we will find the shortest path from this source node s to other nodes small v so uh, there are two general algorithm for that for single source shortest path the first one is discastra algorithm and second one the bellman ford algorithm and bellman ford algorithm is not in the our scope and the difference is the discastra algorithm works for the positive age weight while the bellman ford algorithm works for the positive and negative age weight both okay so we will discuss only discastra algorithm in this lecture so let's say uh, if all age weights are equal let's say one then problem is solved by the bfs algorithm that is in v plus e time so it is just uh, one observation in this discastra algorithm the very central operation is a relaxed function so let's understand this relaxed function and then we will discuss the discastra algorithm just take this example suppose uh, we have this source node s and two other nodes we have w and v so if we select this path then we will get the shortest path weight that is 47 okay but if we select this one that is 11 to v and then v to w that is this 33 so 11 plus 33 it become 44 so if we will go from this side then we will get 47 and if we will go from this side then we will get 44 so this algorithm we will it will work by using this relax function to find out the shortest path so let's understand this function suppose we have a vertex u and vertex v and the weight on this edge uv is suppose w so this relax function when will be called for these two vertex and this given weight then it will be checked that whether the dv that is distance of vertex v is greater than the distance of u plus this weight uv if is it so then we will set this distance of v is equal to du plus weight of h uv and this u will become the predecessor of the vertex v for example here again the the distance of w was 47 okay and uh, suppose we select this uh, u and v here 
this is uh, suppose u and this is suppose v so the distance we may get 47 if we think suppose u is this one and v is this one then distance of v is 47 and distance of u is suppose 11 okay now 11 plus 33 that is du plus weight of this age 33 is become 44 and here we have dv that is 47 so it is greater than 47 is greater than 44 so condition satisfy ho raha hai then this distance will be updated that is it will become the du that is 11 plus this weight 33 that is 44 so this very process we will say relax okay now this is the distance to algorithm we are passing a graph g and a source node s note it down that uh, for a given graph there may be that from any node to any other node we can use this distance trial algorithm to find out the shortest path okay so in initialization first step is initialization for all the vertex in the vertex set we will set the distance as a infinity and predecessor as a nil and the source distance that is the distance of source node will be zero now we will maintain two set the first one uh, the s set which will maintain that uh, in beginning it is empty it simply shows that uh, we do not have any shortest path for any other node so in the third step we will take a priority queue and we insert all the vertices in this priority queue and the distance of the vertex will be priority of that node okay so this is the initialization part initialize the distance predecessor this as set and the priority queue next step this is the main fun, uh, process that is while this priority queue still have nodes we will walk following steps firstly we will apply this extract cheapest function that means jis node ka bhi distance sabse kam hoga that will be deleted from this priority queue and suppose that node is u then it will be added in the set s that means we got the shortest path to that node so add u to this set s and for each vertex for each adjacent vertex of this node u we will apply relax function okay again i am repeating we will delete the node having a uh, smallest value and uh, we will add that to s and all the adjacent node of u we will call relax function for all that adjacent node so take this example suppose this is the graph we have and this is the source node we want to find out the shortest path from uh, this node to all other node so in beginning if we initialize then uh, all the nodes we will have infinity distance and the source become zero 
its distance will be 0. Now, if you maintain priority queue, then in priority queue, in priority queue, we will have this node with value 0 and all other node will have value infinity. So this node will be deleted. This node will be deleted from the node. All this node. So the adjacent node, we have this one and this one. So applying relax function. So 0 plus 10. 0 plus 10 is less than infinity. Here 0 plus 5, that is 5, is less than infinity. So its distance will be updated. So it become 10, it become 10 and this become 5. And the predecessor of this node will become this source node and the predecessor of this one will become this node. Next, uh, this four node we have in the priority queue, 10, 5 and this infinity and this infinity. So lowest one is this node. So it will be deleted from the priority queue. Now this node have this one as adjacent node and this one and this one. So all three remaining node are adjacent to this node. So five plus three, eight is less than 10. So it will be updated again, five plus nine, 14 is less than infinity, 5 plus 2, 7 is less than infinity. So 8, 14 and 7, it is updated now. And this dark line shows that this node is predecessor of all these three nodes. Now in the priority queue, we have three nodes, this one, this one and this one. The lowest value have this 7. So this node will be deleted from the priority queue. And uh, again, uh, seven plus six, seven plus six is 13. This 13 is less than 14. So this value will be updated. And uh, to this node, we do not have any edge. So this value will be same. So again, now the predecessor of this node has been changed. This will become the predecessor of this node. Next, we have two priority, uh, two nodes in the priority queue, this eight and 13. Lowest one is the eight, this will be deleted. Its adjacent node, this one is in the priority queue. So eight plus one, nine, nine is less than 13. So this 13 will be again updated. So it become nine. Now in priority queue, we have only one node. Now this will be deleted and uh, no adjacent node have uh, the lowest value. Nine plus four, 13, it is already less than. So no change will be there. So this is the way by which we can find out the shortest path from any source node. Okay. Suppose uh, if we want to find out the, some observation, so you can see here, it is a greedy algorithm. Right? We always in each step, we selected the node having lowest distance. So definitely it will lead to a shortest path. This algorithm is similar to minimum spanning tree. If you have, if you remember like uh, Prim's algorithm, so it is uh, similar to the Prim's algorithm. And uh, complexity is similar again, like uh, E is the number of ages plus the vertex number of vertices and the whole log V value. Okay, so enough for today. In the next lecture, I will talk about the 
all pairs are test pass that is varchal algorithm